Hey, Star Wars fans and Black Series action figure collectors, we've got the Dark Trooper, the first of, I hope, at least another one in my collection. I'm looking, I've been looking forward to this one. Um, yeah, it's obviously in the deluxe box, and uh, I don't think it needed to be in the deluxe. You could have fit all that in a, you know, a regular lined box. I think that would have been, that would have sufficed um, quite easily. Cool picture of the Dark Trooper on the side. The back is number 28 in the Mandalorian. That's um, it's a lot of figures, man, for one sort of property when, you know, there are still some of the movies that don't even have a figure in this line yet. So, yeah, what are you going to do? Make the money where the money is. <laughs> That's what they're doing, capitalizing on Mandalorian hype. Um, so, yeah, looks looks pretty good. A change of hands to fists. He's got a couple of flame effects. And a uh, rifle, so... Yeah, definitely gonna have to get another one of these at least. Um, so yeah, let, let's just crack him open and have a look, shall we? All right, here we have the, such a such a cool looking figure, like just aesthetically pleasing in every way. Like it's just Imperial through and through. Um, and I think since we saw the uh, that first little snippet of Moff Gideon looking at his, his crew, his, you know, his, I don't know what they are. These like Iron Man suit of Ar Hall of Armor. So the armory of these guys, it was like, oh my god, it's Dark Trooper time. It's actually happening. So yeah, it does come with a couple of these little flame effects, which I believe do just get pegged into the peg holes in the feet. Um, but without a display stand, you know, unless you're just going to fly him around the house, like, with your hands, it's not, not really achieving much. You can't really do a lot with it. So, you know, if you've got a flight stand, you can have him sort of taking off. Holding, holding Baby Yoda or something in his arm, you know. You're not really doing much with these. So, yeah, they'll just be um, put into the accessories box. It does come with a couple of fisted hands, which is nice. Looks good. So they seem to just switch out. Um, I'll just do this one. So it's a nice sort of slender peg, so you might want to be careful. Just don't wear that out. So it's a nice tight fit. Get the other notch in. Again, yeah, don't you, know, you just want to be very careful with those. If it feels too tough, you know, a bit of hair dryer or a bit of hot water, just to soften that plastic up before you try and bend it. There's his rifle. It's a it's a nice warped piece of plastic that uh, Hasbro hasn't painted at all. Uh, it would have been nice if it was just cast in the same black plastic as the trooper, but yeah, he can't have it all, can you? I guess it does kind of contrast against the rest of the figure. But yeah, I like I like the design aspects of this droid, like not as an action figure, but as, you know, part of the universe. You know, there's a lot of design aesthetic here, you know, to the shape of the helmet, um, you know, the just the shape of the eyes, these joints which are very reminiscent of the K2 units. Um just yeah designed very similarly um obviously a bit bulkier now this if i could take the head off i'm not going to because it feels like it's pretty tight so i'm not going to worry about that but there is a lot of articulation movement there so you, if you want to get him flying you can get him definitely sort of looking ahead um yeah now this sort of top armor piece is really sort of it's on there loose which makes me think maybe they're going to go with a battle damage version at some point um you know that way they just have to put out the same figure and just change this sort of it is a sort of a softer plastic and really sort of push that so um so i dare say like you know it wouldn't be hard for them to you know reuse the same mold for the rest of the figure and then just just literally fix that bit up so it's a little bit different um with like some lightsaber strikes or a, something through it just to pop over the top of that sort of excess that skeleton underneath um which you know appears to have detail under it as well so if it could take it off you can get a look at extra machinery and stuff under it but i'm going to leave his tank top on there um but yeah i wouldn't be surprised if that's something they're going to go with in the future um <laughs> You know, it's it's you know an interesting design aesthetic element that they've done there, but 
could very well serve a purpose later in the line. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. But uh, it's come out pretty good. I like I like the look. The sort of nice, sort of shiny black, which it doesn't look plasticky. Like it's sometimes you get those sort of ripples through the through the plastic, but they've actually counter countered that pretty well this time. Um, well, I'm not seeing of it, seeing much of it anyway. But um, still not sure why a robot would need or a droid, sorry would need um like pouches and and stuff like that <laughs> unless there's just housings for you know you know he's got a little couple of pouches there with buttons like he's got his little snack in there he's got his little snackies a little packet of m&ms in there from there not being badass i don't know i imagine there's some something in there for you know use <laughs> we'll get it in a visual guide i'm sure one day but yeah, that's the that's the dark trooper, guys. I uh, before I try to knock my tripod over here, just uh, straighten up again. So yeah, excited to have this one in the collection. Definitely a second one, and with the uh, updated Luke that's coming out, it definitely go well together. Having Luke taken on a couple of these guys. Oh, you know, if you just got Mando, you get a hold of one of those spears, you can have him taking a taking a hold. And uh, taking one of these guys apart, that would be pretty sweet. Or even flanking Gideon. You know, plenty of options for these guys. It's just you've got more than one. <laughs> Alright folks, thank you very much for watching. Do appreciate your time. And uh, yeah, we'll see you on the next video. Until then, may the force be with you. And the Dark Trooper.